Here we go. I'm going to tell you all what I've learned about getting your book out there. I'm in the process right now and I can't wait to make this process so much more efficient so that I could do it in a day if I really wanted to. Here's the order. I'm going to do this so that it's super fast when I do it again. I'm really excited about telling this to all of you because at some point I just wished someone could give me the order. Just do this first, do this next, do this. And so I'm finding that I'm doing some of the things out of order and I wish that someone had told me. Okay, so here it goes. Ready? Number one, finish the book all the way to the last chapter. Okay, and I I have another video that talked about accountability and finding, finally getting the things done. And then after you get your whole entire book done, you still have to do the front and back of the book items, okay? That starts with the copyright page, which is really super easy. I looked at a million copyright pages and then just picked out a format. They're all basically the same and you just pick one and there are templates online. Actually, those templates are they're complicated and they cost something sometimes, right? So don't bother. I just looked at 15 of the books that I had at my house. I looked at, opened them all up and I was like, Gosh, they're all the same. And then I just picked one of them and just started typing exactly what they had. And then number two, or next in the front and back of the book items, you write your acknowledgments. Okay, you don't need to have one if you don't really want to. I didn't think I was going to have one because I was like, I just want to get this book out. I'm not going to do the whole figure out who I want to acknowledge thing. But then one night at like two o'clock in the morning, I poured out my soul into an acknowledgments page, acknowledgments page, and it just happened. So if you get inspired, you just want to think about the people that you want to thank, go ahead and do it. Then you write the references, okay? And so I wasn't going to do this because on each time or each time I wanted to uh, refer to somebody or refer to a book, I gave all the information pretty much in my paragraph. But then I realized that these are really, really good books and people might want to look them up. So I went ahead and did a references page in the back. And then uh, you have to write a call to action page. Now, some people don't do this, but if you're out there and you're trying to get people to follow your content online so that it isn't just like, here's a book and that's it. You can now have this call to action page where you could say, hey, I'm a speaker. You can reach me if you want me to speak to your at your event. You could uh, say, here's my website. Check it out. I have a whole bunch of things there you might want to see. Here's a YouTube video, which that's what I have on mine, um, so that people could continue to watch the Speak Up Anak videos, right? And then Instagram, because I post everything on Instagram anyway, and they can just follow. So if they didn't have that information, now they know how to contact me. And I think I even put my LinkedIn on there. So it's not in every book, but if you are one of these people who wants to use this book to continue the discussion continue the conversation then put that in there it's only fair i mean the people could actually google you but i mean there are lots of dr abby hamilton's <laughs> did you know that they're everywhere so this way they'll have exactly what they need so they can follow me and then you still have to write a page called about the author now some people only have like a little paragraph for about the author and my husband said to make it interesting so i added a little uh, some different style stylings stylistic things anyway that kind of show my character in the about the author section and then you still have to write the back of the book description there's so after you've written the book there's still all these front and back of the book items okay after you do that and and the thing is i I kind of made them like little assignments, like homework assignments. So I had certain pages to do. And I will tell you this. I was treating them like they were an obstacle to my progress until I had Dr. Bellamy at my school. He, he, he stopped my, by my office and he was like, seriously, how long does it take to do a copyright page? I don't know why you don't have any of that done. So, ooh, I just, that just fired me up. I was ready. That night I did it all. I was so excited. And that night I actually sent everything to the editor. So just because he did that, I'm I'm so, um, I don't know, I'm so uh, motivated when other people are behind me, pushing me. So, okay, then you have editing time. First of all, just do a basic spelling and grammar check on Microsoft Word, right? That'll knock out a whole bunch. And then run it through Grammarly. Grammarly is free. So you just copy and paste your 
I, I had to do a chapter at a time because my my content was too too much for it to handle so I just did one chapter at a time whatever comments it, it, it had I checked to see if there were things I would like to change um, some of them were like finding where I had the the <laughs> right next to each other i guess it got carried away with my thus and it would catch that kind of thing but grammarly is awesome and then read it all the way through one time okay so i read it to myself out loud and i actually recorded it and then anytime i something didn't sound right i said "Ooh, let me change that okay and then i would backtrack and uh re-record that section anyway then send it to an editor and this is the only thing I paid for. There are a lot of things that people say that you have to pay for, but this is the only one that I paid for because I just needed to know someone else had a, a set of eyes on it. Now, my brother was editing, was proofreading it too. And he, um, he, I love the fact that he and I went to a strict, strict grammar school. So he's looking for, you know, um, what is it? Pronoun antecedent agreement and tense uh, matching verb tense and things like that. So I can't wait to see uh, what he has. But the editing part actually takes a few days or it might even take weeks, depending on who you get to do this. So in that case, go ahead and get that out to an editor. And there are some other things that you could do while you're waiting for the editor to work on that. Okay. Now, I used a, a, pro, a website called Fiverr. This is where you could look for a whole bunch of people who could be your editors and uh, I'm going to actually make another video to tell you about that experience so that you know what to do the right way uh, thank God I saved myself before I did the wrong thing and so that editing editing part takes some time that's when you could do some of these other things design your cover Okay, they say that you should get a professional, but I went to this website called canva.com where the covers that are made are made by professional graphic artists anyway. So I picked one and I made some changes and I really, really love it. And I have another video that tells you how I made my cover because there's some different things that you do with templates and everything. But there's also a really great YouTube video that says how to use Canva to design your KDB cover, something like that. So I'll talk about KDP in a little bit, but uh, this can help you if you just um, don't have the budget right now. You can do that if you get the premium account on canva.com. I think it's only like $14 or something, and that's still way less than paying for a professional cover designer. And after I did it, I did have a friend of mine who is who does this kind of thing for a living look over it and just tell me if there's some things that she would have changed so make a friend out there and save some money <laughs> someone you know somebody who knows somebody who does this kind of thing so ask around go out there and network and save some money next when your editor is finished they're going to send you back the document with all the changes they made and you decide what you're going to change or what you're going to keep the way that you had it okay there are some things where she didn't quite understand um the way it was structured or the way a sentence was so i kept it i mean i also <laughs> i also taught grammar for 11 years english grammar for 11 years so i think that i know some of the grammar rules that would i guess that would overpower some of the corrections that she had and also some of them were style things so they would have been perfectly fine the way that i had them they would have been perfectly fine the way she had it so i decided to keep some of those things too okay then it's time to make the book oh making the book starts with the typesetting part okay they say that you need to get a professional for that too but i'm pretty good good on microsoft word and i have like self-diagnosed obsessive compulsive tendencies okay so i trust myself to do the typesetting and so what you have to do to start that is you have to go to amazon kdp website which is where we're gonna where we're gonna um, publish this okay and you enter your book size and you download the template it's called a manuscript template okay and this is your blank canvas for creating your book it basically is a blank document that's already formatted with the right the margins and everything and it just says something like delete this text and add your text here okay so you copy and paste your book content into the template and then 
you do all the typesetting things. And I need to put all this in a different video to talk about the different steps, but basically it covers changing your font and the size and line spacing and text justification and page breaks uh, before uh, each chapter. And then also chapter title formatting. Okay, and then after you do all the all the formatting stuff, I love this part so much. I felt like a magician. I felt like I had a magic wand. Okay, I created the table of contents and Microsoft Word does it for you. I did not even know this. When I did my dissertation, I, lit I had to go through and I found what page some chapter started and I typed in the page. I wish I had known this table of contents trick that they have but basically you uh you take each chapter title and you set it to a certain style which is called like heading one and then microsoft magically microsoft word magically just creates the table of contents with the page number and the best part is that if you make any more changes in all the different parts of the book i just have to click update update table of contents and voila the page numbers change on their own it makes me th it makes me just so sad thinking about how on my dissertation every time i made changes in the dissertation i had to go change all the the page numbers because it shifted everything oh god be a friend to your future self and figure out how to use the tricks and the tips and the secret tools on Microsoft Word. All right, and then I got carried away with these Microsoft Word tools and I created an index. Yeah, my book is fancy <laughs> because it has an index. Okay, so this is the part in the back of the book, you know, where you look up a word like, let's say, confrontation, and then it lists all the pages where confrontation was mentioned. And this is totally optional. You don't even have to do this, but I never would have done it if I didn't learn the way that Microsoft Word just magically does it for you. Yeah, it's, it's truly magic. <laughs> I feel like a magician. I really, really do when I use these tools. Okay, so I made the index. And then at that point, you just look over the whole book for anything that kind of jumps out, any funny spacing or um, maybe the way the, a page ends with maybe one line or something like that and you there are lots of different tricks on how you could deal with that but this is actually the part where I am planning on because this is the point this is where I am right now the editing part the editor still has my book and uh, she's supposed to give it to me tonight okay so this is actually where I'm going to take out the microphone and record myself reading the whole thing for an audiobook uh, already right and um, you could just do a YouTube search to learn how to do this. I have this Rodecaster Video Mic Me. That's a microphone that I bought a couple of years. And I might use that. And I also have a blue Snowball Ice microphone that my husband just got for me. I mean, it was re really well recommended. And it didn't even cost hundreds of dollars like some of the other ones. It was only about $50. So I'm going to try it and we'll see if it's any better than the Rodecaster microphone that I have. And then I could return that other one because we just got it from Best Buy the other day. And then the reason that I am creating this audiobook before I even publish the book is that isn't it just Murphy's Law that you get your book out there and then when you record the audiobook, the audiobook, that is when you find a mistake. So I might as well just record it while I'm proofreading it for the last time and kill two birds with one stone, right? This is the fun part. <laughs> isn't it all fun though? I love this whole entire process, except dragging my feet on writing the actual book. But after that, it's all really fun. Okay, so you're gonna create an account on Amazon KDP and KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. You just use the same login as your regular Amazon account and then you put in all the information, your title, your name, and then after that, they give you a free ISBN number just the other day when I finally got to that point and I got the ISBN number, I was so excited. I was like, I, 
have an ISBN. <laughs> I'm so excited. So excited about that. So, um, and actually while I'm on that, let me just tell you real quick about the, on the copyright page, there's also, uh, you'll see on a lot of books, a library of Congress, I think it's called control number LCCN. And this you have to, I, I didn't even really think about this until my coworker, the librarian, of course, Jim Evans told me that I need to go get that. So I Googled it. He sent me the link on how do I just request it. You just request it. You give them the title of your book and then they give you a Library of Congress control number and that goes on your copyright page. So I also have an LCCN. So I feel so official. And then I'm going to be a published author in just, just less than a month. That's my goal, okay? So ISBN number, they give to you for free. I just realized that some people probably don't really know what an ISBN number is. This is basically like a social security number for a book. So if if you were to search for this number anywhere uh, in a bookstore or uh, in a library or just Google it, it would take you to your book. So it's like your driver's license number or social security number, but for your book. And also, just so you know, there's a separate ISBN number for an ebook, which is, yeah, we'll have to make videos on that soon. <laughs> an ebook and then a regular book, and even a hardcover, and I think even a large print. Yeah. So, some people don't like the ISBN number that you get free from Amazon, and there's just lots of videos on this, but. Um, if you want to buy your own, it costs like $125 and you buy it from another company that's out there. And the reason that people want to buy their own is because they want the freedom to have their books sold at other places like Barnes and Noble. Yeah, it feels great to have your, your book at a bookstore. Most bookstores won't sell books where your ISBN number is from Amazon. Okay. Um, unless they're like a small bookstore around the corner and then you can buy them and then bring them to that bookstore and then they, they say okay fine because we know you and we like you and they're allowed to but they don't usually like to do that um so just do a search on youtube if you really want to know the pros and the cons of getting your own or getting another one but you know as for me i'm totally fine with selling my book on amazon because everyone shops Amazon I mean it's all good and then you just um, and then you just know that you could send everybody to their am the Amazon page all right then after that you just keep putting all the information like size and matte or glossy cover I'm picking matte I just like uh, how that looks and then um, they'll ask you cream or white pages and they'll tell you cream is more for fiction and then white pages are for nonfiction and things like that but it's whatever you want right I, I keep going back and forth I think cream is nice and soft but then you know if I'm writing a book about assertiveness maybe it needs to be on white <laughs> then um, then it's gonna ask you to upload your manu manuscript and remember it's formatted already the way that they want it and then upload your cover which if remember we already did and then uh, they'll have you answer questions about your pricing and then you click save and then it has to go into the review period and some people have said that it's been as long as three weeks and some say that it's only like in 10 days so it's just a matter of waiting at that point and it is what it is it'll come out when it comes out so today I'm still waiting for my editor to finish that book Today is her deadline. Today, Saturday. And I am also going to see my brother right after I finish this video so that he can tell me a few things he wants me to change. So my plan is to get all these edits in tonight. And you can tell I really want to get this done, right? And I'm going to spend tomorrow doing my audio recording so that I can find all those mistakes, if there are any at that point. And I'll be proofreading it while I'm audio recording one last time. And then I hope to click save to Amazon tomorrow night. 
It's a lofty goal. I'm just, I'm, it's pretty realistic. It's not lofty, okay? But I'm so ready for this. I totally am. I mean, this is the book that I wish I could have given my teenage self so that I could find my worth and my value and my voice so much sooner in my life. And I just can't wait to jump into the hearts and minds of everyone who reads this, who needs this. And I just can't believe it's really happening. Everyone, this is happening. So watch out for a book called Speak Up Anak, which is coming out very, very soon to your Amazon shopping list.